Hello, and welcome to my channel. Hey everyone, welcome to Andrew's Wizardly Reads, and today I have got my first tier list for you. So, the tier list that we're going to be doing is going to be the Cosmere tier list, and this is going to be comprised of all the Cosmere books that I have currently read. Now, I know I, I, I missed the Cosmere craze um, from last year following the release of Rhythm of War, but I was a part of it. I was very much engaged. In fact, I read the majority of the Cosmere books last year. Now, before we get into the tier list, go ahead and like and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can get regular updates from when I post new content. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So without any further ado, let's get into this tier list. Now, let's just jiggle the mouse a little bit. All right, let's point them out here. Just make sure everything's synced up. So here's my S. Um, S through D. And if you can see down here, I've kind of arranged everything. This is just a tier list that I found on tiermaker.com. It, it was already pre-made. Um, I've just kind of moved everything that I haven't read, which is basically just White Sand and most of the novellas. I have read the Stormlight Archive novellas, but I haven't read any of the Mistborn ones. So you can see all the all of them here. S is, of course, going to be the, the creme de la creme, the best of the best. A, super good. B, that was all right. C was, I could take it or leave it. And D is going to be, no thank you. Now this is Brandon Sanderson, Cosmere. I don't imagine anything's going to make it into D. Mainly because I just super in lo love the way that Sanderson writes. So, let's get into it. Now this may be mild spoilers. I'll try and keep it as spoil spoiler free as I possibly can. All right, so going in publication, well, maybe not pu full publication order. I'm going to go with my mental publication order. <laughs> now, keep in mind, all of these choices are just my opinion, uh, and I'll explain why and things of that nature. And I'll, we'll do a, a final rearrange just to make sure that everything kind of fits where I think it's supposed to. So we're going to go ahead and grab a Lantris here. Um, and I'm going to stick a Lantris in, we're going to leave it in B for now. Um, the reason is, is a Lantris was really good. I actually listened to this one on audio and I really, really enjoyed it. The, the narrator, I believe it's Jack Garrett, uh, did a fantastic job. Um, just, I tend to read in mentally like super, super quick and he really slowed the story down and just injected a bunch of life. Um, I felt the cultural differences um, within this world and I felt the religious fervor that was expressed and I felt the absolute just loyalty and love and dedication that he was able to impart in all of these characters. Um, I'm leaving it in B for now. It may go up. Um, B for now because there were times where it was just uh, Sanderson had to tie up every single loose end. He connected everything into this weird, self-contained ball of perfection. Uh, he created uh, just connections that I didn't really think the story needed. Just uh, if a, a character is reading a book in the story, there's a reason they're reading that because it affects their life somehow by sheer weird happenstance. Like it all... It all went, wove together and it was just a little too clean for me. So we're going to put that right there. Um, I'm also going to put Warbreaker here. And the reason I'm doing that is I really liked Warbreaker. But at the same time, like I kind of had to slog my way through it. And initially, while I was reading it, I didn't super love the book. And I know that's kind of an unpopular opinion. But uh, weeks afterward, I realized, yeah, no, um, it really stuck with me. I, could, I couldn't stop thinking about it. I'd be laying in bed like four days after finishing it, thinking about themes or events or characters from Warbreaker and just going through it all in my head. And I really, really enjoyed that. So we're going to leave it at B and see kind of where that happens. Oh, I can see... Certain things are starting to crop back up that I haven't read. Oh, no. 
All right, uh, let's see. We're gonna go Mistborn. This is Mistborn Final Empire. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and immediately throw that into S tier. Uh, it's an earlier bo Sanderson book, but the magic system is just so cool. The found family aspect's amazing. Uh, the Ocean's Eleven type heist, but like twisted into toppling an empire, is just absolutely mwah. Oh, it was so good. Uh, Kelsier, Vin, just the entire gang uh, was really interesting to read. And I just, uh, I know there's this company that makes the coins that they use um, to perform magic or to like, you know, go with their magic. And I really want to buy a set just because the, the way it's described and the way it's used in the book was just so good. I just, I, I really, really want it. All right, let's see. Hero of Ages. Hmm. Where to stick Hero of Ages? I'm going to stick Hero of Ages kind of here in A. Uh, it was super solid. And there were certain themes within A that I didn't super love. Um, we get an evolution of like the romance aspect in here. And we're dealing with the fallout of the first book. And... A lot of things really worked, and some things didn't work for me. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that there in A. Uh, Vin continues to grow as a character, but she's also a lot more um, conflicted in this book. Uh, it looks like it's everything's in order, so let's take Well of Ascension. Or no, wait, I think it that's the third book. <laughs> My bad. Um, Hero of Ages, I think, is the conclusion of Mistborn, and it's still really good. Um, but yeah, um, they're both A's for me. In fact, I think Well of Ascension was better than Hero of Ages for me, simply because here, um, I didn't super love the ending of the series. Um, I understood it, but I don't know. I, I don't really want to get into spoilers, but just the... The the arc of Vin, um, some people will say I f they thought Mistborn could be a standalone novel, and I could certainly see that, but I do like where we end up with the Well of Ascension and then moving into Hero of Ages. It, it's all a very good story arc. There's just certain characters within this that kind of bugged me a little bit, but other than that, it was a super enjoyable trilogy. All right, let's see. Uh, for me, let's see, I think Alloy of Law is the first one. I haven't read these in three years. I really enjoyed the, the relationship of Wax and Wayne. Uh, just the, the sort of dourness of Wax and then Waxillian, Waxamillion, I, I forget his full name. And then Wayne's just kind of slapstick kind of funniness was, was super cool. This was also my first Flintlock fantasy. Uh, so I also really enjoy it for that. So that one's going to go with an A. Now, I don't know if I was experiencing burnout when I was reading the second and third books, but those are definitely both B tier for me. Uh, the love interest in here kind of bugged me. And then what I really love... Oh, let's move that back down to B. What I really loved about the relationship between Wax and Wayne gets really strained in the last two books. And I think there's a fourth one coming up, but I'm not entirely sure. And um, uh, overall, my, my enjoyment of those really kind of came down. Edge Dancer. Edge Dancer is going to be a C. Um, that's Lyft, I believe. I think that's Lyft's short story. I didn't really see the whole point of this. Uh, Lyft can be fun. She's got her place. But to me, she doesn't quite fit within the Stormlight Archive. And so that kind of creates some issues where I'm reading it and I'm chuckling. But with it being set within Roshar and the Stormlight Archive, I don't really understand her characterization or her character. So we're going to go ahead and put her C there simply because I didn't think that deserved seven hours of me reading it. And if you don't know, it's, uh, oh God, which book was it? I think it's one of the first like chapter 
was actually one of the interludes, and I think it was either... I think it was Words of Radiance. I think it was Words of Radiance. I'll have to go back and look. And while we're talking about... Um, short stories... Um, I'm going to go ahead and put Dawn Shard kind of down here. Oh, whoa, not S. And certainly not S. Um, Dawn Shard right here. This is... Dawn Shard came out just before uh, Rhythm of War. And it's where we first start getting our real um, Cosmere connections. And so I really kind of liked it for that. But at the same time, I don't know if we needed a full novella for it. It... it it was nice, and it was certainly referenced within Rhythm of War, uh, and it kind of fleshed things out a little bit. But again, uh, if I'm going to read Stormlight Archive, I tend to like my Stormlight Archive just big and bold and brash and thick as a brick. So we're going to go ahead and put that in B tier. It was fine. Um, I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. It was just, it was good. All right, we're kind of getting to the the last of what I've read here. And that's going to be the main Stormlight Archive books. And I know you can see all this down here. I haven't read it. I haven't read it. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, starting with Way of Kings. I think this is where people are probably going to get mad at me. I think Way of Kings is straight up S tier. Um, the start was a little slow, but by the end, just the Kaladin's journey through the book... And learning about Roshar and its introduction into that world was just absolutely amazing. I've loved it so much. Uh, I I can't I can't begin to think of starting the Stormlight Archive any other way. I know there's Stormlight Archive Prime. I haven't read it because I don't really want to start something that I know is never going to come to fruition. It was just an abandoned idea that was fleshed out and completed for as like a a bonus. Uh, so, for me, Way of Kings is going to be S tier. And I'm actually... Well, you know, we'll, we'll do final rearrangements here in a minute. Uh, let's see. Rhythm of War. Rhythm of War is going to be... Ooh, where am I going to put Rhythm of War? <sighs> Don't get mad at me. I'm going to drop it right there in high B. High B. At the very top of B tier. It was... Fine. Um, I didn't like the Parshendi uh, interludes. Uh, this was a lot more pol politics. I do think it was a great setup book for what's going to be the end of the first arc. So it did do that for me, and I'm really excited to get into that. Um, so I'm thinking book five is going to be S tier, only because Rhythm of War really elevated it to that position. Um, that said, it is my least favorite of all the Stormlight books. And I may bump that up to the very bottom of A tier, but we'll see here in a second. Well, no, yeah. Mm, we'll see. Uh, let's see. Oathbringer. I really like Oathbringer. So I'm going to put Oathbringer at the top of A tier. Uh, Oathbringer had some issues with it, but it really did a deep dive into Dalinar's life. And I just absolutely love Oathbringer for that. Um, it, it's, it's one of the more divisive books, I think, in the Stormlight Archive. That or Rhythm of War. Um, we'll see what happens. But... Uh, I don't really want to spoil Oathbringer because, I mean, it's it's got the Dalinar's lowest lows and some of his highest highs. And I just really loved it for that. It's got some of the coolest scenes uh, in the Stormlight Archive that I just can't get over. When I read that, I was like, ah! All right, let's see. So where to put Words of Radiance? Um, I know a lot of people really love Words of Radiance. I'm not the biggest Shallan fan. Uh, I do, hmm, it's, it's A tier, it's definitely A tier, but where it belongs in A tier is the real question. So I'm going to drop it in A tier and then we're going to do some quick rearranging. So let's see, uh, Edge Dancer for sure is my least favorite, I, I, I didn't need that. Well, 
We're actually going to pop Edge Dancer up here. Oh, no. Forget it. It's where the cursor goes. And then we're going to drop these two down here just because I, I really didn't enjoy the ends, the end of Mistborn Era 2. Uh, I thought it was a huge drop off and just the, all the character interactions weren't really working for me. Uh, let's see. Elantrist and Warbreaker. I'm going to drop Alloy of Law right here. And I'm going to move these up here. Oh, no. All of Law goes there. Elantris comes up to... Uh, well, let's put Elantris there. There. Ooh, this is hard. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Hmm. We're definitely going to put you... I think we're going to put you right there. So, kind of the middle, um, the lower end of that. Mistborn. Yeah, uh, I mean, Final Empire was my first Cosmere book. I read it back in 2017. And then didn't get into the uh, anything past the Mistborn series until 2020. So... Well, what do you think? Where should I put all this stuff? I don't know. Hmm. Well, I think... I, I really don't want to put any... Because I, I, I do tout that I do like Rhythm of War. So I think Rhythm of War is going to be the bottom of my A tier. And then Elantris and Warbreaker are going to be the top of my B tier. Um, everything else, yeah, Alloy of Law feels like it's good right there. I do like it more... Then Dawn Shard and Edge Dancer. And then those last two Era 2 Mistborns belong down there at the bottom. And there. That's my list. Um, I think that is a solid list. You are, of course, welcome to disagree with me. This is all my opinion. And, yeah. Uh, this is going to be my, the end of my first tier list. So, uh, you can just go onto tiermaker.com and pull this one out yourself. I'll try to put a link to it down in the description below. Along with, of course, the link to the Discord, which you should always click on to join. Uh, we are a growing community, and we just have lots of fun. Uh, discussion has been just absolutely going off the chain lately, and it's been fantastic to be a part of. Uh, just I consider everybody in there to be a friend, and I I am over the moon with the Wizardly Duo Discord. It is it is a fantastic time. So feel free to come and join us. So, till next time, guys. Stay magical. Peace out. Bye.